Hello and welcome to my channel and thank you ever so much for watching. I will be talking to you whilst you view some of my own chickens in the background here. I've started this channel as chicken keeping has become so very popular now and I know that lots of you lovely people out there need some advice on breeds, feeding, housing, incubating and chickens and pullets and everything. Um, I've been breeding chickens now for about 20 years. I feel I can offer you lots and lots of advice and, and help, of course. And you can ask me anything you like on the comments section. I breed bantams only. No reason, really. I just love the smaller chicken. I do have Appenzella Spitzhalbens, though, which are actually quite big. Beautiful bird. I can show you some of my birds in this video, and later on I shall go into more detail on each breed. It all depends on what you want your chickens for. Are you wanting egg production or meat or both? Uh, these birds are called dual purpose breeds. I mean, what's nicer than fresh eggs for breakfast every day? The sort of bantams that I keep are Pekins mainly. I have the lemon Pekins, the lemon frizzle Pekins, porcelain Pekins, millifleurs. Um, I do gold lace Orpingtons lemon sable poots, lavender sable poots. I do so many different little birds uh, and, sell, and sell the eggs generally. Um, you can actually see some of my birds at the moment on there. Um, that I absolutely adore them. I love them. I actually love every single one of them. They've all got names. So I'm a bit soft really. Um, of course part of the pleasure of keeping chicken is to know something about the various breeds and how to distinguish them. And of course making your own particular choice. Breeds are very distinctive, not only in colour and shape, but also in features like the feather markings and the combs. Um, there's hundreds of different pure breeds. I always go for the pure breeds. I don't really breed hybrid, although they are a good choice if you're wanting egg production. I mean, you'll get an egg every day, nearly every day of the year. So that is good if that's what you're looking for. Um, two sizes of chickens exist, of course. You've got the large fowl and you've got the bantam. Both sizes can be found in many breeds, the Bantam version having been created as a miniature of the large. True Bantams and those with no counterpart and the breeds under this heading are usually for ornamental purposes. Large fowl require more room than Bantams and consume more food but are generally more docile and obviously offer a larger carcass should you require birds for the table. Some Bantams lay very well. Uh, mine, mine lay particularly well. I mean, I get an egg nearly every single day, and even now, and we're into October, nearly November, and they're still, I'm still getting an egg every single day. Um, although your egg will be slightly smaller, you'll have to double up on your breakfast uh, in the morning. <laughs> um, actually, you do. There's different types of things. Actually, I mean, you've got the first crosses. These are produced by the mating of two purebreds such as a Rhode Island Red Cockerel and a Light Sussex Hen. Uh, this particular cross is an excellent one for the small holder because the colour is sex-linked and at day olds can be clearly distinguished as male or female. It makes life so much easier. Um, you've got the hybrids and the strain crosses. If you want a large number of eggs and the commercial hybrid, which has been developed for several uh, years and different strains and breeds, is, is the most suitable but they could be snags. She will not be a good table bird and in order to attain peak performance she will need to be fed on intensive commercial ration. Uh, but saying this, you know, I've known a few that, that, that live really, really well outdoors and, and they do very, very well. Um, there's choices of ages that you can buy. You've got the day old chick. This is the cheapest way of acquiring stock but they may be unsexed so about half of them will be cockerels. The usual practice is to raise the cockerels to table weight and then slaughter them you know um, you'll have to provide the chicks with artificial heat in some sort of a brooder unless you happen to know of someone that's got a an available broody hen pullet the term pullet is used to describe any female chicken between 8 and 20 weeks if you buy them slightly underage and the weather is cold they may still require artificial heating Point of lay pullets, strictly speaking, these are pullets of 20 weeks which are about to start laying. Be sure to check the age with the vendor for the, the term is often misused. This is the most expensive way to buy stock. But the birds need less feeding prior to laying and they will produce more eggs during the first laying season than they will do subsequently. 
and uh, the last last thing of all commercially uh, year old hens have a productive life of one laying season after that they are usually disposed of because the number of eggs decline and they tend to eat more it is possible to buy these rejected birds cheaply but if they are from a battery system be prepared to rehabilitate them a year in a cage often crammed in with others leaves hens exhausted feathers missing and, and sometimes struggling to walk but they can be looked after and, and there's such a demand for people to take these in. Um, as you can see I'm still going through some of the breeds that I keep myself. Um, in my next video because I'm going to do quite a few videos and every time I do them I'm going to be talking about a different breed so if you can follow it through we may come across one that you might fancy or you might think oh that's for me I don't know um, but in my next video I'm going to be talking about the Rhode Island Red a very very popular bird always has been of course you've got the large one and you've got the bantam size again mine are bantam because that's all I ever keep really um, a beautiful bird beautiful coloring which lays lots and lots and lots of eggs like I said before um, thank you for watching and listening please subscribe to my channel um, and I shall speak to you soon thank you Bye-bye.